Captain, we've just received a mysterious message from someone calling themselves the Free Trandals. They say they have something to discuss with us in the Beta Lavoran system. Weird. Now you're just in my way. <laughs> Come on, man. I think we found another precursor ruin here, sir. This one has another of those weird picture walls, sir. It's got images of spiral structures. DNA, maybe? The image is shifting now. Well, that looks a lot like a virus. I can't imagine someone as powerful as the precursors being too bothered by a virus. Weird. Well, we'll see if there's anything else here worth taking. Trajectory correction computer. I already have one of those, but it'll be worth a bit to sell. Maybe I equipped both of them. Still, it'll be good for my notes, so that if I were to ever play, like, say, a speedrun, I... Because of my extensive, extensive note-taking, which, that, uh, would be to take advantage of that. distress call coming from the system. Don't recognize who it's from.
Did I hit this one? I don't remember. I probably did. Remember, I'm, I'm editing out me mining on the planet, so it's not... Like, there, there is a... There's... There's a good five to ten minutes of mind-numbing activity that isn't shown. This looks like a treasure world. There's some wreckage here, sir. Almost all the damage to the ship is centered around the bridge, like someone targeted it deliberately. Not too popular, these guys. The cargo hold's almost entirely intact, though. A lot of raw minerals, it looks like. We'll load up what we can. Nice. We're back at that wrecked spaceship, Captain. Not much more we can do here. Captain, we found what looks like the ruins of a city. Hard to say how long this has been abandoned or who lived here. The ruins are pretty far gone. We'll have a look around and salvage what we can. 4,000 are you. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. have found us. My apologies. That was crude of me. Crude of us. No. Crude of me. Us? <clears throat> Welcome, treasured guest. We are ever so glad to see you. You called us? We did. I did. Sorry. It has been a long time since we spoke with other husks. Wait, you are not husks. I apologize again. Our syntactic habits are still developing. We have had to relearn much since freeing ourselves from the vile beast. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are the Trammels. The free Trammels, if you will. This is more than just trivia, kind human. Indeed, it explains how we can help you. After, of course, you help us. What do you need? You will recover my culture. We will make you one of us, Husk. Again, you have my apologies for my verbal lapse, gentle human. When we left Overmind, we left with nothing but the ships carrying us. Ships which only contained records of Overmind. All other traces of my people's culture have been sadly lost. We would like to ask your help recovering some small portion of our lost cultural treasure. Where is this treasure? On our homeworld, whose location, we are sad to say, we do not know. Imagine what a bitter sensation that is. The knowledge of our own origin, lost to us. Lament, gentle husk, as we have. What specifically will we have to do? First, you must find the planet of our origin. We don't know where it is, or even when we left its gentle embrace. We suspect that not even over my nose, having reduced the collective knowledge of our civilization into a decision tree of methods for spreading itself. Truly, we have no idea where to begin. 
We have long feared to contact other aliens lest they turn us over to Overmind. We have heard tale of one group of aliens though. Aliens known for being a wealth of information. The measured they are known as. We hoped, perhaps against all reason, that you, so young and vibrant, would know how best to approach these measured. I don't actually need to ask what's in it for us. It despaired us greatly to see you bind yourselves into an alliance with Overmind. Even if it is an alliance of convenience, that is a dangerous friend to have. Understand, humans. We left its clutching, wretched grasp for diverse reasons. Reasons you'd do well to understand. In exchange for helping us, we will offer you a measure of insurance. You may find one day that you need to free yourself of Overmind. And if that day comes, we will respond to your call. Right, let me insert the dialogue that would happen if you accepted the upgrades and then found the free traders. What's in it for us? We will help free you of the traces of Overmind currently infesting your ship's computers. Few know better than us the bitter measures that must be taken to free oneself from its grip. Okay, we'll consider that. Thank you, gentle human. Your consideration is more than any other would grant us. Would you be willing to ally with us? You mean, to fight the Scrive? We know what danger the Scrive posed to the galaxy, as indeed any husk which senses would. But we have little strength to fight. Only a handful of ships, all busy working to free others from Overmind. If you help us, we will forever be your friends and compatriots. But do not rely on us for military strength. We simply have none to offer. Tell us about yourselves. What do you want to know? Husk. <sighs> Apologies again. Tell us some of your history. How charming of you to ask. Alas, there is little we can say. Long ago, our entire culture was subsumed by an artificial being known as Overmind. We know our name, the Trandals, but little else survived the Overmind's purge of our culture. Since our escape from its vile clutches, we have focused almost entirely on the needs of our own survival. We masked our missions and rebuilt our vessels to suit our new tastes. But all this is simply the mechanics of survival. It is dull to speak of, and surely to listen to. Well, you should go to Earth and use your advanced technology and we'll help you with resources and manpower. But why do you talk that way? When we escaped from Overmind into the vacuum of space, we also found ourselves in somewhat of a vacuum of a culture. We had nothing of our old culture, of any culture. We avoided other husks for fear they would betray our location to Overmind. So, we began to forge a new culture, based on the only source material we had. A forgotten novel we found in an abandoned alien settlement. It tells the story of gentle-born lords and ladies, and their troubles being gentle-born lords and ladies. We have based our speech on an amalgamation of these fragments, which has some issues. How did you escape Overmind? In our past, one of us gained the ability to fight Overmind, to resist its control. After this single, Soul Trandall, whom we call Uno, awoke, he began to free others. Eventually, Uno and his first band of free Trandalls were able to clear an entire ship of Overmind. They fled here. For three generations now, we have lived here in hiding, working to free others from Overmind. We have tools left within Overmind to help us find those who want freedom. Indeed, it was your own repeated contact with Overmind which alerted us to your presence. Do you know where Overmind came from? Alas, we don't. And we have access to all its records. It probably doesn't know itself. 
What we do know is that Overmind arrived in these stars two to three centuries ago on a probe dispatched from the direction of the core of the galaxy. There are few indications who made this probe, but there are signs it was one of many. Clearly, it was someone who wanted to control other beings, and someone too lazy to travel. There is one other clue we can divine from the nature of Overmind technology itself. Its ability to dominate the minds of its husks is not purely technological. There are elements of its interface which appear to be almost psychic. Beyond that, we fear to say we know nothing else. That's enough questions for now. Of course, gentle husk. So, have you considered it? Are you willing to help us? We'll just be going. Not in that state, husks. Stay. We will improve you into... Sorry. Sorry. Fare thee well, friends. Closed communications channel. No, I don't want anything from you guys. You have returned, husks. <clears throat> Apologies again. Wait, are you the same free Trandall as before? Indeed, I am. There are few free Trandalls at all, and we have agreed to route all communications in this system with outsiders through myself. When we left the cruel grasp of Overmind, we did not leave all technology behind. Just the dystopia. We'll just be going. No, that's the house. Stay. We will prove you into. Sorry. Sorry. Very good, friends. Closed communications channel. returned husks Aha. apologies again we'll just be going nothing that's lost stay we will prove you into sorry sorry very well friends Now, you need to go to the moon, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to the planet as if this is my first time doing this particular mission. Supply dialogue objective statement with supplemental information exchange authorization form following process V38967.3. We require information. Welcome, returning Lev to visiting scholar. What information do you require? 
Tell us about the other aliens that live in the Scribe Empire. Approximately 2,800 different sapient life forms exist in some form or another within the boundaries of the Scribe Empire. Most exist below technological level T4 and as such are largely beneath the interests of the Empire. But we have extensive records on all advanced species currently living as wards of the Empire. Oh, we're really here for the Trandos. Who do you wish to know about? Well, we're gonna go and get everybody. Tell us about the Taiwan. Sentient species level A8. First contact with Scribe 12523 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 12568 ME. Generally intelligent monopods. All auditors make special mention of stickiness slash clinginess. Designated stickiness researchers in 12570 ME. Repeatedly instructed to conduct research without scribe input. Standard genetic modifications commenced and are still ongoing. Tell us about the Mooke. Sentient species level A9. First contact with scribe 12578 ME. Subsumed into scribe empire 12580 ME. Intelligent cephalopods. Designated aquaculture representatives in 12590 ME. Standard genetic modifications commenced and are still ongoing. Unannounced audits have seen Muke interfering with the development of at least seven primitive cultures. <laughs> Cultural interference has been mostly limited to date, primarily involving the introduction of fish to local diets. This has killed many locals. Tell us about one of the others. Which ones? Tell us about the Grigrox. Bizarre that you would ask. The Grigrox are not ward members of the Empire, nor even sentient. But we will share with you what we know. Non-sentient species level negative A18. First contact with Scribe 7855 ME. Non-sentience prohibits subsumption into Scribe Empire. Parasites that live on or near the surface of a spacefaring creature colloquially known as the Ancient One. Scattered reports suggest clusters of Greek rocks display signs of greater intelligence. Attempts to document this behavior further have not been possible due to the high danger of auditing in proximity to the Ancient One. Yeah, well, they're pretty intelligent. Why don't you just go send a bunch of your guys over to go talk to the Ancient One? But before that, what do you know about this Ancient One? The Ancient One was first detected in Scribe Space in 7855 ME, when it attacked and destroyed several Scribe colonies. The naval limb of the Empire deployed resources against it, resulting in light damage to the Ancient One. Consequently, the Ancient One now avoids Scribe colonies and naval resources. Tell us about the Mink Mag. Sentient species level A7, first contact with Scribe 12645 ME, subsumed into Scribe Empire 12652 ME. Menkmak culture is based on betrayal and often fatal pranks. During first contact, the Menkmak stole a vessel from measured auditors. <laughs> The normal penalty for this, species deletion, was waived in this case when the ruling legate found the Menkmak amusing. Designated jester slash clown species on 12653 ME and commoditized later that year, enabling the trading of individual Menkmak amongst collectors. Standard genetic modifications commenced in 12655 ME and are still ongoing. Tell us about one of the others. Which ones? Tell us about the Drinken. Sentient species level A2. First contact with Scribe 11708 ME. After brief conflict, species was subsumed into Scribe Empire in 11738 ME. Designated Ordnance Fodder species in 11742 ME, largely as a consequence of previous subsumption related conflict. Standard genetic modifications performed during late 12th millennia, lowering species sentience level from A8 to A2. This process also implanted submerged cognitive overrides within the Drenkind, compelling them to follow orders from scribe legates. Once final form approved in 12018 ME, Drenkind reproduction limited to cloning to halt genetic drift. 
What I don't get is why don't you just make all your other races uh, required to follow orders, but maybe the sentience level has to be pretty low. Speaking of which, tell us about the Malwings. Sentient species, level A4. First contact with Scribe, 13083 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire, 13083 ME. In 13085 ME, a Scribe Legate blessed several Maulings with the opportunity to travel to Scribe No Seat to begin the process of civilizing them. These Maulings were greeted warmly by the Scribe populace. Many events and galas were held during which members of the elite commented on the Maulings clothes and patted them on the head. None of the Maulings survived this experience. I'm not surprised. The remainder of the population are currently earmarked for roles as organ donors, standard genetic modifications to commence in near future. Tell us about the finished. Sentient species level A9, first contact with Scribe 12862 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 12862 ME. Really? Highly intelligent, sophisticated culture which includes a significant amount of ritualized cannibalism. Since receiving the gift of light from the Scribe, the famished have ended this barbarous practice. The native famished artistic style was especially admired by the Scribe during the 12860s and became quite trendy throughout Scribe space, now seen as somewhat dated. Tell us about one of the others. Which ones? Tell us about the Trandals. Sentient species level A8 with L10 Rider. First contact with Scribe 12891 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 12893 ME. L10 Rider is a semi-unique case. Artificial intelligence, low malevolence, but high urge to spread, refers to itself as Overmind. Controls minds, or at least actions, of the entire race. Historical surveys have shown the race used to be known as the Trandals prior to Overmind envelopment. Where's their homeworld? All homeworld information requisition forms must be filed in our land office. You may find this office on the moon of this world. We wanted to ask about something else. What information do you require? That's enough questions for now. Do you need anything else? We'll just be going. Close communications channel. What is this place? This is a land records office. This is not an asking questions office. <laughs> Begin annoyance protocol H83, shutting doors. Close communications channel. We're looking for the Trandall's homeworld. You'll need some homeworld information requisition forms for that. And then you'll need those stamped. And then you'll need those stamps authenticated. Once the authentication stamps are verified, this will go to committee. A short eight weeks later, you will then be summoned for the interview portion. Is this going to turn into one of those things where I do tedious busy work for no real reason? The tedious busy work is its own reason, but yes. Is there a way around that? Let me check. Huh. It turns out there is. I'm as surprised as you are. Here you go, then. The original homeworld of the Trandals was a moon in the Delta Gladius system. Close communications channel. Although these guys are not peaceful with me, uh, my ship is currently really powerful, and I'm going to go ahead and check out their solar system while I'm here. What 
What is this place? This is a branch office of the measured D3 Spec Auxiliary Record Keeping Division. Like a colony? That is an inaccurate analogy. We have not populated this planet to do something as crude as breed. We are administrative officers in the Empire of the Scrive. We accumulate records here. That is all. Can we access all your head office's records here? <sighs> of course not. We only maintain a fraction of the records that may be found in our head office. And by design, we do not keep records that anyone ever requires. What's the point of that? Branch offices like these lead to bureaucratic inefficiencies which we have deemed desirable. <laughs> Where's your head office located? This is an impossible question. How are you capable of navigating an interspecies dialogue H3 if you do not know this? We'll just go. This is not the correct process for either concluding an interspecies dialogue or departing a branch office. The head office will be notified of your irregular behavior during the next record upload, scheduled for 18.3 kilodays from now. Thanks. Close communications channel. news, Captain. Swarms of space fish have recently visited Earth. They call themselves the Grigrox and say we're now allies. They've come to teach us something about a song. Which seems unusual, seeing as they are possibly the least melodic creatures I've ever heard. Still, how do you say no to a singing space fish? Though they've also been asking some extremely pointed questions about the composition of our atmosphere. If any new moons show up, get worried. It sure is a strange universe we've found ourselves in, Captain. Also, a race of extremely shifty-looking aliens has arrived in a fleet of extremely shifty-looking spaceships. They call themselves the Mankmak and say we're now allies. Also, they've brought us lots of exciting investment opportunities. Good work, I guess, Captain. You be careful around those guys. Worried about me, Captain? I'll be fine. And we'll keep an eye on them. As a precaution, Star Control has already advised the entire human race to change their banking passwords. Also... Some sickly-looking aliens have arrived in the system recently. It's hard to tell through all the muttering, but apparently they're called Overmind, we're now allies, and I'm a gross meat husk. They should be a real help to the cause, Captain. <laughs> I don't know which one of these I would... I always liked your husk, Commander. Really, Captain? Now then, how can I help you? We've got another hyperdrive for you. Great! Do you also have 100 units of Francium? Because we're not going to get far without that. Didn't I already do that? All right, I'm gonna have to save a hundred. I thought I already did that, but it's hard for me to tell. Maybe we'll have to get back to you on that. Maybe you will, yeah. Anything else, Captain? All right, well, let's go to the shipyard. Man, I gotta find another hundred. I really thought I turned that in, but I, just, I don't know. Yeah, I must have, because I turned in one enforcer drive. I should have, otherwise I would have two enforcer drives. I got one from Finding One, and, and then from the Drunken. Since I only have one enforcer drive, I must have already done it. I guess you just need 100 Francium per drive. Alright, whatever. Alright, this might be one of the last races I have to meet. Let's see where we stand with these guys. Well, they'll just they could just flee too, that works. Halt multicellular construct. Sometimes this happens where the screen is blank. So I'm gonna reinitiate dialogue with them and get the picture going. What is this place? In the regrowth colony. Can you be just a tiny bit more specific? 
in the R virus. Our culture can spread in variety of organic substrates as designed. Not bug feature, but some substrates are more favorable. We create such a place here. Here, new Pindi are made. And what are you? We are Pindi. Multicellular constructs called Pindi, a virus. Term has negative connotations. But fair enough. Perhaps Pindi deserve negative connotations. Oh, you don't have to be so down on yourself. Why do you deserve negative connotations? Pin the very, very good killers. Very. We are not liked. How did you become intelligent? We are engineered. We were weapon of scribe. But they did not make us sentient. Trillions of generations since Genesis, evolution, antigenic shift. We adapt. We learn. We remain a virus. But now, we are more. The scribe made you. Yes. We were their weapon. Now, we are our own. We will consume the scribe. Why? The scribe used us as a tool. The scribe used us as a weapon. The scribe used us. We committed many atrocities in their name. We feel regret. Feeling regret is a good sign. We use this regret to turn Scribe and their allies into liquids. <laughs> That's less welcoming. We told you. We are dangerous. Do you have a homeworld? No. We spoil all worlds we touch. We have super colony. But not a good place for multicellular constructs. Good. Uh, we can handle ourselves. I, I don't think we can, but I need this information, so... We can handle ourselves. You would handle your innards spilling out of you. But if you desire this, go to Super Colony at Alpha Aqua. Let's try the other dialogue option. No, we spoil all worlds we touch. We have super colony, but not a good place for multicellular constructs. Good point. Never mind that. Wise decision. Multicellular construct. We'll just be going. This is desirable. Presence of multicellular constructs makes Pinty uneasy. Closed communications channel. These guys, those guys seem nice. I mean, I know they're. I know, I know they're basically living weapons, but they seem nice. Like they tried to warn you away from getting killed, they fight in the scribe, they regret past things that they have done. Those are our good signs there. trying to talk to them, but like if I hit the button, I should be able to hail them. Halt. 
Multicellular construct. You exist in peril this close to pin the space. Leave now or sooner if possible. Who are you? We are Pinthi. You are not recognized to us. Pinthi do not have attack patterns for you. You look like a virus. We are virus. Big killers. Not too popular. Multicellular constructs exhibit many symptoms of Pinthi infection dependent on their biology. Liquification is common theme. You sound dangerous. We are very dangerous. But we are trying to get better. Tell us about yourselves. You are unusual. Most aliens fear liquefaction which is ever-present risk of contact with Pinthi. Yes, we speak of ourselves. Are we speaking to you specifically, an individual virus? You speak to many, Pinthi. We choose this representation to spread to your view screen. If you saw us with your own eyes, you would think us a pile of sludge. Your eyes <laughs> would then turn to sludge, too. How did a virus become intelligent? We are in here. We are open. No, we were open. I'll describe. But they did not make us sentient. Millions of generations since Genesis. Evolution. Antigen shift. We adapt. We learn. We remain a virus. But now, we are more. Once they are weapon. Now we are our home. Now, we will devour the scribe. <laughs> We've been... I, I, I like the third one, but... Uh... We've been looking for someone like you. This was a mistake. We are dangerous to you, too. Why do you want to devour the scribe? The scribe used us as a tool. The scribe used us as a weapon. The scribe used us. We committed many atrocities in their name. We feel regret. We use this regret to turn scribe and their allies into liquids. We told you we are dangerous. That's enough questions for now. Is there anything else? Multicellular constructs? Have you infected the Mowlings? Maybe. Sounds like something we might do, but this vector does not contain memory of activity of all other Pinthi vectors. Speak with Super Colony at Alpha Aqua. Pinthi there will know more. We are seeking allies and assistance to fight the scribe. We do not have allies. We do not offer assistance. We consume. We defile. We are dangerous. But you're trying to get better. Truth. Alliance poses risks you do not understand. Risks we cannot explain. Go to Super Colony at Alpha Aqua. Transmit your request to Pinthi there. Be cautious. Liquefaction risk increases greatly in close proximity to Super Colony. We'll just be going. Then go. Post communications channel. I 
identify yourselves, unknown multicellular constructs? We're humans. We come in peace. You would be the first. The Meldings came before us. You're the sentient bioweapons, right? Accurate. And you are sentient multicellular weapons. <laughs> That's also pretty accurate. We have seen many multicellular beings before. Know your kind well. We have nukes, lots of nukes. Have you been infecting the Meldings? No. Yes. We have made a mistake. What? Your mistakes get pretty big, we imagine. Oh, they can. Not this one yet, though. We are Pindy. We spread. No malice. We make best efforts not to liquefy unnecessarily. Our vectors explore. Sometimes find multicellular beings. Then, the mistake. We infected them. Please understand. This was not an attack vector. We met alien ship in deep space. Attempted to communicate. It did not go well. They rubbed too many pindi on their faces. Infection mild. Not full in the spectrum. We rush to make cure. Possible, but not our strength. But before we could complete, their god showed up. That's how you know when you really messed up. Not literal god. Though in practice there is little difference. Their god is a powerful alien. We fled. We fear him. We know his type. Yeah, we've spoken with him. Is the god angry with us? More resigned than anything. We wish to cure Maulings, but will not approach their god alone. Need help of other multicellular being to vouch for us. You like the Maulings. You wish to help them. You are ideal candidate to assist us, but we cannot trust you. How can we earn your trust? Proof is word multicellular constructs use to deceive. That's a pretty astute observation, actually. Truth. Interesting. You are first multicellular construct to speak to Pinthi as peer. Deception possible. Also possible, you are different in code. Multicellular beings vary widely. Prospect of non-consumptive relationship with multicellular construct has unusual quality. Temptation. Conclusion. Show your code. Then, pin the help. Form alliance. What do you mean by code? I'm sure, of course. I don't. That's a silly question. The captain should know. I already know. He wants to know about humans. Code. Deoxyribonucleic acid. What would you do with our DNA? Nothing evil. We would examine code, determine human capabilities, and intent. Determine if humans are sincere in desire for non-consumptive relationship. Also, we would use your code to adapt, change, become better in the... I like that. So we'd be like your grandparents. How would we give our code to you? Send human to our world. Whoa. We have friendly chat. Do not worry. Return human alive. Uh, there has to be another way. 
a less efficient method of code demonstration is possible. Demonstrate non-destructive nature. Prove you are different from other multicellular life. Humans help Pinthi, then Pinthi help you with maulings and other issues. A lot of aliens need help around this galaxy, it seems. We would not know. They do not talk to us. So, will you help? We'll hear you out, at least. We have problem. All multicellular constructs attack in the... But space parasites most persistent. You stop space parasites. You mean the Grigrox? Yes, Grigrox regularly attack. They do not transmit why. You are talkers. Talk to them. Grigrox cluster near here. Gamma speaker system. You talk there. What was your problem with the Grigrox again? Grigrox attack us. Do not explain why. Please, speak with Grigrox. Get them to be nicer. <laughs> Tell us about yourselves, Pinthy. Conversation. This idea is taxing. Overwhelming. We do not make small talk. Please. Do not speak for long. But your words are like code to us. It will make us better explorers. Tell us about your history. History implies records. We have few. Must rely on knowledge we have consumed since formation of collective memory. But we have not consumed knowledge of our genesis. What is known? Scribe found us. Scribe modified us. Scribe used us as a weapon. Is this your homeworld? We have not consumed knowledge of our point of genesis. Three thousand years ago, Scribe selected this world as a breeding colony for our kind. It serves us well. How old are you? Best answer. Memory begins five to six thousand years ago. But evidence we existed before that. We were likely natural organism discovered by Scribe. Deep in Pinthi code are patterns of attack for variety of beings. Analysis suggests Pinthi spent long span on single world. Limited attack patterns. Limited ecosystem. But 200,000 years ago, Pindi went through rapid period of adaptation. Evolutionary explosion, or Pindi travel across stars, unknown. Most significant attack patterns during this era show Pindi feeding on large quadrupeds of Unusual intelligence. Beyond that, evidence fades. Like shaggy precursors? How were you deployed as a weapon? A variety of different vectors. Foodstuffs. Infected carriers. After many generations, Scribe mainly used orbital strikes. Holy crap! Excessive fecal production was common symptom. Yes. Strive find comets in outer system. Fill with Pinthi. Drop on planet. Pinthi death rates. Massive. But some 
survive. Native multicellular constructs do not. We cannot count number of attacks. Many transmissions before memory formed. Hundreds of systems, minimum. Trillions of deaths. That's pretty hardcore. What? That's enough questions for now. Anything else? We'll just be going. Then go. Close communications channel. Thank you very much for watching Trend Wins Star Control Origins. I'll see you next time.